It is a Comic-Con weekend here in uh, San Diego at the House of Blues, the Kevin Bean Show on a Thursday morning. Muggs, though, has not joined us because he had a big night last night. Uh, you were on the red carpet of the ESPYs, Muggs. This must have been an award show that you were actually pretty excited to go to, I bet. The first one I've ever been to, and uh, super excited rolling up, and tons of athletes everywhere you turned, there was an athlete. It is amazing how many people show up for this thing because, I mean, let's be honest, even though the ESPYs have been around and been on TV for a long time, it's a made-up award. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of it's just the TV network giving you a statue is all it is. But they do show up for it. It is a pretty good broadcast. Uh, Muggs, as you know, gives us an intro on the red carpet before he conducts his interviews. A lot of athletes here, guys. A lot of athletes. Let's see who we can talk to. <laughs> I didn't put a lot into that. <laughs> a good update yeah. right there. A lot of athletes. I'm, I, I'm surprised why last night and this morning, Muggs is so surprised that the ESPYs would have a lot of athletes participating. Hmm. It seems like a weird choice, right? <laughs> All right. MC, uh, Emily Failzer and Danny Cameronesi. I'm sure I'm saying both of those names sure. wrong, but they are U.S. Women's Hockey Olympic gold medalists. And I don't know that Muggs gets uh, off on the right foot with his first question. Did anybody ever told you the terrible old cliche that girls are not allowed to play hockey or shouldn't play hockey? Unfortunately, we have been told that a few times along the way, but clearly we can. <laughs> and you just drop your gloves and just, you know, square up, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, the that's a nervous wow. courtesy laugh right there. <laughs> it sure is. I mean, I was so uncomfortable with that question because these women have accomplished as much as can be accomplished mm -hmm. in women's hockey. Why would you even bring up that pe there are some people who think they can't do it? Tell us about the bad old days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Didn't that strike you as a little weird, Allie? It, yeah, and if you wanted to make it a little better, you could have said, any idiots ever say this to you? So at least they know that you're aware that that's a stupid thing to say. Okay. All right. Listen, <laughs> I've got some notes. That. I've got Noted. some notes. Uh, he talks to NFL player Chris Johnson next, and you'll understand why I say to you, this guy doesn't need CBD or THC. Listen to his <laughs> interview about this question. You think Goodell will ever relax the, the, the restrictions on CBD and THC and marijuana use? Um, I'm not sure. Hopefully. It don't matter to me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, oh, that was a sweet interview right there. <laughs> That's, that's wow. two guys who don't need CBD or THC. <laughs> I was getting a little contact off that. Yeah. Wow. wow. All right. This and one's so gonna, is he. <laughs> this one is going to hurt you, Kevin and Allie, as Kings fans. Braden McNabb was there, yeah. who, of course, now plays for the Golden Knights. And Muggs talked to him about that. Well, Braden, uh, great, great uh, showing. Uh, we loved you on the Kings, and you look great on the Knights. And uh, we're sorry to not have you anymore, but you look great. <laughs> what, a, what a great. Oh. Not, not much great. A lot of bugs saying things are great, though. Whatever you did this year, we used to like you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, oh, one of the biggest stars in sports and one of our all time favorites here on the Kevin and Bean Show. And I got to agree with Kevin a little bit. I'm nervous to let Beer Mug out into the wild interviewing our friend Daniel Cormier, UFC heavyweight champion. But he did, and I got to give Muggs props. Part of it is because DC Central Professional turned out to be a pretty good interview. Big win against Steep. Uh, let me ask you, DC, uh, what's next for you? You know, I'm going to fight Brock Lesnar, you know, unless something presents itself very special at 205. Now, let me ask you, uh, during 226, unfortunately, um, Ortega's opponent had a dropout. Yep. How much more of that are we seeing nowadays where fighters are getting concussions or they're not making weight? What's going on with that? I think that what happened with, with Max Holloway was the UFC making the right call because the kid didn't seem like himself all week, so they started checking him and figured out that he just wasn't right. So uh, I believe that was the, the, the right call. Now, a uh, guy like myself, I'm 205. All right, stop right there. Uh, <laughs> Why does Muggs always go for, what if I were to be a UFC fighter? Un That's his Why? default position. Why does that ever enter your head, Muggs? It's like my fantasy world. I, I kind of like play it out in my head. What if? All right, let's see if a DC humors you. About 6'1". You're taller than me? Would I be middle? Would I be uh, light heavy? You would have to cut some weight. I'd have to cut some weight again. Yeah, you'd have to go 185 <laughs> if you want a chance. Because a guy like me, uh, I, I cut from 245 to fight at 205. And I would not want to fight you, DC. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Sam, good seeing you, man. So Take care. Bugs, you, yes. you will never be 185. How <laughs> right? dare never. you? <laughs> Seriously, if you ended up on a <laughs> desert island tomorrow for the rest of your life, you'd never make it down. Also, uh, I agree with Bean that that interview was good because of DC. Right. right. Who, did, who I, did he fight? 
Stipe. I, no, no, I, you said Stipe. I did. <laughs> I did. I hey, said uh, Stipe. It's on the fight against Steep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Brian Ortega, you guys, who was in the studio a couple weeks before the fight, we just uh, fell in love with this kid, and we were so disappointed his fight didn't happen. But Muggs caught up with him on the red carpet of the ESPYs as well. Uh, have you talked to Dana about when you think you're going to be fighting next and how many months it'll be upcoming? So they're, they're doing some tests with Max right now, seeing if he's medically fit to compete. Then we will set another date. If not, then we have to find out what's going to happen next. You know, like everything has just been dead. You know, it's heartbreaking, man. When you put your heart and soul into something, this is my my life's dream. And then within two days, it gets taken away from me. I can't help but get upset. Now we're going to have the title shot later. So we're, we're, we're sitting good. Uh, I hope so. Fingers crossed for Brian. All right, now we get into some real mugsisms, you guys. All right. He interviews a race car driver. There's not much you need to hear from the interview, but his name is Joseph Newgarden. Joseph Newgarden. Here's how Muggs ends the interview. Jeff, thank you so much for stopping by. Take care. I feel like a dick. I just called uh, Joseph Newgarden. I just called him Jeff, but I, I came close. It's a J name, right? Right? No. But I felt like a dick still. He didn't correct me. He just looked at me like I was an asshole. Well, he did the right thing. <laughs> Chris Cyborg, you guys. Let's see what Muggs has got for her. Ladies and gentlemen, my next female fighter needs no introduction. It is none other than Chris Cyborg. Okay, the definition of needs no introduction, by the way, is mm-hmm. needs no introduction. But why mm-hmm. female fighter, Muggs? I wondered that as well. Mm-hmm. Just in case people didn't know. Oh, <laughs> what? My God. Wait I a mean, minute. This is video. At some point, is, isn't is somebody just a fighter, I think is what we're asking? For the listening audience, I did it. Josh uh, Reynolds, <laughs> NFL player for the Rams. Muggs is not going to let him get out of his sight until he gets him to do something very specific. Oh, no. Whose house, Josh? <laughs> Rams house. Baby. Rams house. I mean, why? Come on, what you, He's not a monkey. <laughs> Dance what are for you me, doing? monkey. What's wrong with you? It's the Rams champ, baby. <laughs> Uh, Terrell Owens, who, by the way, had a couple of very funny moments on the ESPYs last night, walks by. I think Muggs got him. What, when are you setting up the T-O-H-O-F? T-O, that was the that was a T-O Hall of Fame for those of you who are not in the know. Stay up on your game. <laughs> oh, you're telling us to stay up on our game. <laughs> what? Why? Um, Why is this happening? Swaggy P from the Golden State Warriors went by. Swaggy P! Swaggy P! Swaggy P! Now, Muggs, are you hoping that he hears his own name and then turns and walks to you for an interview, or you're just celebrating the fact that he's walking by? I was just happy to see the guy, you know? Okay. All sure. Right. Sure. I feel like you made a real connection with uh, Von Miller, though. Hey, the ESPYs don't start until Von shows up right there. Von, what's up, fam? Von, Von Miller! <laughs> what, what is that? happening? What is, what's Look, that let, me, about? let me explain something to you guys. It, it, it was very hot that day yesterday, uh-huh. about uh, 95 degrees, 67 percent humidity. I was once again getting red carpet delusional. Right, but that makes Von Miller German. Yeah, that was an odd delivery. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, and finally, Von you know, Miller! you know, Muggs uh, gets it in his little head that he's going to talk to certain people on the red carpet. The stars he won't leave without an interview from. And if he doesn't get them, he recreates them for our enjoyment. And this is the most superstar series of roundtables that Mug has ever done for us. So I saw I saw Aaron Rodgers walk by. I wasn't really doing interviews, but I got him on my tip sheet right now. So once again, I'm going to conduct my own Aaron Rodgers interview right here. Uh, Mr. Rodgers, are you feeling healthy and ready to compete at the highest level once again for the Green Bay Packers. Discount double check. Thank you, Aaron. All right, so I got uh, Anthony Davis of the New Orleans Pelicans right here. Anthony, what's it like to have the coolest unibrow in the biz? It's really cool. Okay, I right, look at this. I got Chris Berman, of course, legendary ESPN anchor. Chris, what's going on? He could go Oh. Oh, wait. Thank you, Chris. I got to tell you, oh, pretty good delivery. Another huge legendary UFC mixed martial artist, George St. Pierre. George, you ever think about coming back and fighting in the UFC? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Thank you, George. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Thank you. Thank you. On the red carpet of the ESPYs last night. Well done, sir. Yeah. Thank you. It's Kevin and Bean on K Rock, KROQ. K-Rock.